Sometimes video games are just too demanding. They require focus, strategy, thinking. After the end of a long week, it's nice to be able to sit down and turn your brain off. This is where tiny games come in. These are games with no real goal, just soothing music, satisfying animations, and the ability to let your mind cool down and wander. The other day, I was offered a code for The Block, or the world's smallest city builder, which is releasing on December 16th. It's really designed more as a digital toy than a game, and each of the five levels, if you can even call them that, can be finished in a minute or two. I knew I wasn't going to be able to make a full review on this game since it is so small, so I decided to compile all my thoughts on the different tiny games I've played over the past couple years and why it's a genre I've come to love. So in the game, you pick from a couple different size grids and then you click on adjacent tiles and put down little pieces of city. If you like clicking on things and hanging out for a couple minutes, then this might be the game for you. The block was created by Paul Schneff, also known as Hyper Paradise, who made The Ramp, which came out last year. I did enjoy that one a bit more because it had a few achievements to unlock and I really like skating games. Paul used to be a part of the Grizzly Games team and worked on games like Superflight and Islanders, which both are great games, but they're not quite tiny because they require a little bit of thinking and some reflexes. I suppose you could also call most tiny games minimalist and hidden object games like Sizable go along with this theme nicely. It's almost like an anti-puzzle game since you don't have to really strategize or think at all, but you still get that satisfaction of making discoveries. Oh, and also unpacking. I just thought of this one, and it's definitely a tiny game. I guess this one's a bit different from the other games mentioned because it also has a tiny story, if you look around for it. Who knew cleaning up could feel so good? Cloud Gardens is maybe slightly larger than Tiny, but it still has the same relaxing vibes and it's not really a puzzle game, so I'm gonna count it. You're presented with different abandoned dioramas and it's your job to fill them up with all different types of plants and vines. Creative mode is more chill than the regular mode because it has unlimited plants and you can technically make a mistake in the regular mode and have to restart the level. So keep that in mind, but Cloud Gardens has a very relaxing atmosphere. Townscaper is also pretty cool. It's called an instant town building toy on Steam. You can make a tiny town or a really big town. It's up to you, but there aren't any goals. You basically just pick a color and then click on little boxes. Pretty chill. And finally, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator is definitely a tiny game, but I haven't played this one. You basically just watch your pool fill up with different kinds of ducks and you can watch them float on by. Anyway, tiny games might have a pretty niche audience, but I still wanted to make a tiny video about them. Let me know in the comments if there are any games that I missed. If you're more interested in bigger games, then you can check these out.